Okay, Engine Performance Expo viewers, the last time you saw this block, it was in the hone at Straub Technologies. This is the one that we scuffed the pistons before. We had three scuffed pistons. One was really bad. We got it all cleaned up within three thousandths. We were able to save five pistons. We got three new pistons from the guys at CP. Use line-to-line -line skirt coating on all eight pistons. New rings, new hone. The guys here at PME put the engine back together. So now that's where we are. We're in the dyno cell at Pro Motor Engines in North Carolina. We're going to run it and let's see how she runs with this new hone with that line to line skirt coating. See how it does blow by wise, and we'll show you the results. Okay, so that's last time, just to check ourselves, that's yesterday, that's right now. How about that? That's pretty good. Do one more just to make sure. So now we're at 32 degrees timing with the VPQ16 with the big carburetor. Let's see what kind of number she makes. Here we go. Seven ninety one. Wow, that's a huge gain. This engine, when we first found it last year, it had been rebuilt twenty years ago and just sitting in the shop. It made seven hundred and thirty three. All we did was hone it, new rings, new pistons. Of course, we went from old school full round piston, old school type hone, old school piston rings. O forty three one five. Three millimeter went to a modern 0 0.7, 0 0.7, two millimeter. We put little bitty lateral gas ports in the piston. We put gas ports in the rings. We doubled them up. We did all that. We changed the fuel. We changed the carburetor. That, just those changes, was basically 60 horsepower. This thing is making a little bit more vacuum than it did before. So I'm gonna say job done. Both of Dad's engines, both Ford C3 engines, we did the complete rehaul on it before with valve train, pistons, rings, hone. This time, we left the valve train alone. We just changed the hone, the rings, the pistons. Both times we bit the carburetor on there, we both times we put the oxygenated Q16 fuel. So definitely the carburetor's worth some power, the fuel's worth some power, but my gosh, 
using the Rottler H85 to get the cylinder board geometry and surface finish just dialed in, using the thinner total seal piston rings, using those CP forward side relief pistons, even the line-to-line -line skirt coating, that entire package, man, that's worth at least 40 to 50 of all of this. It's pretty nuts how much power we were able to gain just by making a few small changes. I mean, same block, heads, cranks, rods, cams, <laughs> rockers, springs. All this stuff is literally 20 something years old and it just made 791 horsepower. Hey, but that's why you watch the Engine Performance Expo is because we're showing you how to make big power the easy ways. Not everything has to be the trick of the week. Sometimes it's about just doing the fundamentals, blocking and tackling, right home, right ring gaps, all those little things all add up to big gains. So I can't thank Dennis and all the guys here at ProMotor enough for helping us with this project. This is super cool. Can't wait to get this one in dad's car and get him back on the racetrack. What a day, what a day, what a day. Uh, yeah, my brain, my brain is swollen. I've learned so much today. They told us, don't start cars. We are not gonna listen.